Hey everyone, welcome back to Ontario Vintage Tractor. Uh, if it's your first time here, thanks for tuning in. Behind me is our 1954 CA that you've seen in our last video, Blowing Snow. When we were out blowing snow, we noticed that uh, the lights aren't working anymore. So we're going to dig into that tonight with a little how-to. Stay tuned. Okay, so our electrical, most of it is all located inside this box here. So we'll go ahead and take the cover off and see what we see. It's just two little 5 16 bolts on the outside here. Let's see where we get it. There should be a fuse on the back side of the switch, which is right there. The fuse is good. Oh, sorry, the fuse appears good. It's not blown. So see if we got power coming in. And then see if we got it going out. Okay, so we got our Tesla right here. We're gonna hook it up to the ground post right here. Uh, see where our powers are. I don't think I have a good connection there. Okay, we got power coming in. Power on the back side of the ammeter. Power coming into the switch. So that tells me it's likely a switch issue. Man, the switch wasn't making contact, but it is now. So, probably a safe assumption we have an electrical problem. Bad connection on the switch. Yeah, once I touch it, it turns on. So we'll go ahead and clean up that connection and see if it fixes our issue. Looks like it might have just been a loose connection. Now again, you want to be careful, there is live wires in here. There we go. So I'll bring you around here and show you basically my basic circuit test that I did. Okay, so what we did is over here on the post, we're connected to, that goes right to our battery ground and that's where it grounds to the chassis. So that's gonna give you the ground for our test light. So this one will go straight to power from the ammeter. Test light lights up, I don't know if you can see that. I'll try and get that there. Okay, so the test light lights, test light, lights on the other side of the ammeter. That tells me we've got power going from here to here. So then we come into our switch where the power comes in. The test light illuminates there as well. So then we come over to the other side of the fuse. Okay, 
where the test light also illuminates. So that tells us that our circuit is good all the way to the functionality of the switch. So then when we pull the switch, we should have power at the output of the switch, which is right here, which we do now. However, before I tighten this connection right here, we did not. So there's a bad connection inside, a fairly simple repair, and I hope you learned a little bit about diagnosing electrical. All right, that's it for this episode of Ontario Vintage Tractor. I hope you learned a little bit about uh, testing electrical. I know it was basic, but uh, we have a, another lighting issue on our 65 John Deere 2010 that we're gonna tear into next week. So stay tuned for that. And as always, if you like what you're seeing, please like and subscribe down at the bottom. Thanks.